The way you'll be successful with SEO in 2024 is way different than how you'd have done it last year. AI has been a major disruption in search as we know it, but it also presents a ton of amazing growth opportunities too. So I'll show you what's changed and three brand new future-proof strategies that you can use to get ahead of 95% of your competitors who are probably still stuck in last year's tactics. These strategies will keep you on the path to higher rankings no matter what comes out of this whole AI revolution. So what exactly changed this past year? You know, first, ChatGPT rolled out, you know, making it much easier to churn out SEO content, articles, and blog posts at scale. So that's exactly what people did. Everyone from content marketing agencies to small mom and pops who had never really done any SEO at all up till then. But that all had an unexpected consequence. So all of a sudden, the internet was being flooded by poorly written, artificially generated, you know, what we call commodity content. It was bland, generic, lacked a point of view, and it felt like it was written by a robot. Then this past May, Google threw in another curveball. They called it the Google Search Experience or GSE for short. So instead of the usual list of website results when you search, now Google's planning on giving straight up AI generated answers. And that freaked out a whole bunch of SEO experts. So if AI powered SEO content's bland and Google won't even show content from your website anymore in searches, how are you supposed to come out ahead? Well, everything I've mentioned may sound bad on the surface, but it actually has a pretty positive upside if you know how to play into these new opportunities that we're being given. So let's talk about how you can future-proof your SEO strategy while allowing you to scale up your SEO in the right way. An MIT study actually found that unskilled writers who use ChatGPT were able to create 40% more content and the quality was 18% higher than without. All good stuff, but that's not gonna help you rank in 2024. Here's the problem. All SEO really is, is Google playing matchmaker between what the searcher wants and the content they serve up as the answer to that question. But imagine you click on a promising Google search result only to be met with an article that feels like, you know, a soulless term paper. No passion, no unique insight, just a researched regurgitation of facts. Who sounds like ChatGPT. It's like expecting surf and turf and getting a mayonnaise sandwich instead. So you click away from it to find something better and Google takes note of that and then shows that article less and less until it's just gone. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can still use AI to help you create more, and you should. You just need to boost that content with your human perspective. What keeps AI-powered content from connecting with people, making it bad for SEO as a result? It's the lack of human experience, opinions, advice, and overall perspective. ChatGPT has never walked out into the world. It's never experienced the pain of a bad decision, formed an opinion based on years of working in a particular profession, or problem solved its way out of a jam. But you have, and that's what people are looking for in most search results. So here's how to use ChatGPT to help you create more, and how to go a step further with it so that it reads like a real human being with a point of view wrote it. So let's go right into my exact series of prompts that I use to get there. We're gonna start with generating a powerful list of topics that'll help Google see you as a true authority in your niche, otherwise known as a topical map. Then I'll show you how to create entire outlines in seconds. Then we're gonna turn those outlines into fully written articles and pages that already sound like a person wrote them. Then finally, we're gonna layer in your own unique perspective to really make them shine. Okay, so we're here in ChatGPT, and this is where we're gonna start by coming up with that topical map, otherwise known as just that list of topics that when you write about all of them on your website, Google is gonna see that and put it all together and say, this website is an authority in its niche because it covers the overall topic so thoroughly. It definitely helps if you're using GPT-4, it's a lot more powerful than 3.5, but this one does cost 20 bucks a month, so whatever you can afford to do, uh, just start there. So I'm gonna type in this prompt. So I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but I will just kind of give you the, the outline of what we're looking for. So 30 semantically relevant but unique topics under our main category, that's gonna come up with all the subtopics that you should be talking about in your industry. I'm gonna replace this right now with 
home renovation just for our purposes here. And then so we've got the 30 subtopics, but then for each, we want 10 different variations of that, like each addressing a different search intent, like how do I do this? Why do I do this? That kind of thing. And then I'm just asking for it to be given to me in an easy to read table format, including an intriguing clickbait style title for your article as well. So it kind of does all the work for you there, gives you all the, the topics and the titles. So let's see what it comes back with. Okay, so we've got bathroom remodeling and it's coming up with all these different variations on that, including the titles. And it's just gonna do this for all of them. Now it may get stuck and it may ask you, like it may kind of stop short. And then in which case you'll just have to type in continue and then it'll keep going from there. But looking through here, it looks like we've got some good stuff. And sometimes it may actually stop doing in the table format too. It's a quirk with ChatGPT, so you'll have to work around that, but it's still giving you all the same content that you asked for. But once you've got all this, now it's time to turn all of these ideas, all these titles into the individual outlines for you to start writing. And here's how you'd get that outline. So let's just pick one here. Let's just pick this one, penny pinching bathroom fixes. I'll just copy that one, including the quotes. And I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna type in Now write an outline for an article, and I just pasted it in here. And this is a really important part. Write it as a professional remodeling expert, because if you don't ask it to do that, it's just gonna write it with no point of view, just kind of like a, the way someone would just research something and then write about it. So you're asking it to take on the persona of a remodeling expert like you, and then you're asking it to write for your ideal client. So in this case, maybe it's suburban homeowners between 30 and 55 years old. So you'll ask it to start writing the outline. And here's where you'd wanna make any tweaks that you wanna see in this outline stage. So if there's something here that you don't really like, you don't wanna hit that point, or you wanna replace it with something else, all you have to do is chat with it right here. Chat, that's why it's called ChatGPT. You chat with it, you say, hey, I don't like this point replace it with this, or if it just seems too thin to be helpful, you can add in extra points here if you want to. So it's done. Now we just need to ask it to actually write the article for us. So I'm gonna put in the prompt. Now write the article in a casual, helpful tone, insert whatever adjectives you want there. You can actually even ask it to write as somebody else, like Alex Ramosi, Oprah, in this case, maybe Bob Vila, right? He's the, the home expert guy. And insert personal anecdotes if they help illustrate a point. So that's gonna bring in some stories. They're gonna be fake stories because they're made by ChatGPT, but that's your signal to kind of replace those stories with your own. That include H2s and H3s as needed. Those are just the subheadlines. And expand on key points or add more of them if needed to hit at least a thousand words. That's important. We don't wanna go for thin content here. That's not gonna do you much good. You definitely wanna go for at least a thousand words in your article. So I'm just gonna click here and it's gonna get written. So asking it to write with a specific voice in mind will right away make it read much more human, but you'll still wanna manually review each article. Add personal stories, you know, your own expert opinions and unique experiences to set your content apart from the rest. With AI out there, there's already a flood of generic content. Most people will just copy paste exactly what ChatGPT spits out, which is their mistake, but your advantage, because now you know better, right? So our next SEO strategy for 2024 is a way of playing directly into Google's move toward answering search queries themselves through AI. But to understand the opportunity, we actually need to see how these search results look. This is what we're calling the AI-powered snapshot. As you can see, it gives you an AI-generated answer on the left, but then it gives credit to its sources over here on the right. And these are all clickable links, and they're basically the new featured snippet that you'd see when Google just pulled out a short answer from whatever page they thought answered the question the best. And studies show that that link got clicked on about 26% of the time whenever it showed up. So it would be really beneficial to be one of these sources and optimize your post for AI snapshots, right? The only question is, how do you get featured here? You know, Ricky over at the Income School YouTube channel did a little test a few months back. His guess was that the same things that would get you to rank as a featured snippet would also be what could get you to rank right here too. He figured, Google, just like everybody else, doesn't want to reinvent the wheel. So to put his theory to the test, he wanted to see if one of his own articles that's just off on its own website with absolutely no other content could rank for the search 
when is the best time to buy an ATV? And when you look at the results, you can see that another article is taking the featured snippet placement, not his, but if you look at the AI generated answer, that same article shows up there too, along with Ricky's article. Which means that by writing a good answer target, I actually have an increased likelihood of having my content featured at the top. So how do you write your content to provide good answer targets so that you can be featured up here for multiple questions? It's all about signaling to Google that your content would be the best answer. And the really cool thing is, while you can really only optimize a blog post to rank for you know, one primary keyword phrase in organic search results like these, you can rank for multiple answer targets in a single post. So just figure out what questions you're already answering in your posts and then optimize them following this checklist. Answer those questions in your blog post. Doesn't have to be complicated, you know? You can put the answer at the top of the post, in the middle, wherever you want, and wherever they make sense in the flow of your post. Just make sure that it's clear and to the point. You can use a header that matches the question. It helps, but it isn't a must. You know, sometimes it's a good idea to have the question as a subheading, but Google's pretty smart. They can usually figure it out without it. Be precise and concise. This is key. If you're answering a question, get to it. Don't beat around the bush. Google likes answers that are definitive and easy to understand. So that means no wishy-washy, well, it depends type answers. And don't waste any space teeing up the answer. Just answer it in 150 to 300 characters. And that can be really tough to do. So this sounds like it might be another case for ChatGPT if you need the extra help. Now, there's two ways you could do this. First, you could simply ask ChatGPT the question and tell it to answer it as completely and definitively as possible in under 300 characters. Or you could do the same thing, but also give it any background information that you happen to have and tell it to be sure to include it. And since you'll likely be sharing space with a few other posts here, it's gonna be really important to have an eye-catching primary image on your post, as well as an intriguing, click-worthy title. When you think of SEO, your brain probably goes right to Google, right? Because I know you're not thinking about Bing. But there's another search engine that can be a little easier to crack and is gonna end up doing your business a lot more good in the long run. You may have heard of it. It's called YouTube and it's the number two search engine on the planet. It's responsible for taking my business into multiple six figures based on the trust that it lets me build with my audience, which you just can't do nearly as well with written content. Not to mention, video content's not likely gonna be taken over by AI in any real way at least, now or in the foreseeable future. So my third SEO strategy for 2024 is to pivot to video. More and more people are heading to YouTube first to find out what they want to know, and they could be finding you. But what makes this strategy even more all-purpose is that when you create a video for YouTube, that video can you know, obviously be found on YouTube, but also in Google searches, not to mention, if you embed that video on your website with an accompanying blog post, that post on your website now has a more than double chance of ranking in Google searches too. So yeah, it's a really big opportunity, especially right now. So how do you do SEO properly for video? That's the good news. There's not a whole lot you need to do other than create good videos that people actually wanna watch but there are a few things you can do to stack the deck in your favor to get your videos found in search to, you know, give them a good kickstart. First, just like with website SEO, you wanna research your keywords. So I use a program called Morning Fame to help me brainstorm and then land on keyword phrases that I can actually rank well for. They make it super easy by just giving you a report card of how well they think you could do based on your channel size and all your unique factors. So at first, you're gonna wanna go for really specific ones that you can get some traction with. Then, once you know the keyword phrase your video is targeting, you'll wanna use that in your title along with something a little more intriguing that creates curiosity or promises a result so people will not only see your video pop up, but they'd actually wanna click on it too. Then you wanna use it a time or two in the description as close to the beginning as possible. And when you're recording your video, you actually wanna say that keyword phrase toward the beginning of your video too, since YouTube picks up on the words you use. You know, they'll definitely push it up further if it's actually spoken verbally 
in the video itself. All that's gonna optimize your video's SEO, helping you be found in searches. But the real magic happens when your videos actually break out of search results alone and they start getting surfaced to people naturally by YouTube. And that only happens when people find your video, usually through search at first, they like it enough to watch most of it, then YouTube starts showing it to more and more people who didn't necessarily search for it. Maybe in the related videos section or the holy grail, the YouTube homepage. And don't worry, they know who'd be interested in your videos even if they're super niche down. And to make sure all that happens, you wanna make sure that your videos are engaging and to the point while still showing a bit of your personality. That part right there is what's gonna make people not watch just one of your videos, but two, three, 20. And before you know it, they're caught in your web where they're much more likely to turn into a paying client. And the cool thing is ChatGPT can help you out with every single strategy I went over in this video. So click here to watch for all my best tips and actual prompts that you can use right out of the box to make your SEO a huge success in 2024. Not only for your content, but for your actual sales pages, even your homepage. So click here and I'll show you my entire playbook. See you over there in a second.